What's up guys? Welcome back to KC Outdoors. Today we're gonna do a little bit of a review. Got some new broadheads. We're gonna test them out, see how they do. Let's get into it. All right guys, so I've got the new broadheads right here on an arrow. Uh, these are the Magnus Stinger Buzzcut four blade. Oh boy. All right, hopefully it doesn't start coming down on me. Anyways, four blade, 100 grain, non serrated tips as you can see, just the regular blade. Uh, I've got a target set up right here. We're just gonna go back and see how they shoot, like in contrast with my field points. Let's do this. We've got the broadhead here. We're gonna start with the field point and then take a look at that, aim at the same spot with the broadhead and compare the two. Shot number one with the field point. As you guys can see, beautiful shot right where I was aiming. So we're gonna aim at the exact same spot with the Magnus broadheads. All right, now we're shooting the broadhead from 10 yards. So we got field point, broadhead, 10 yards. Let's see if we can pull this out. This could prove to be tough. Oh, never mind. that just came right out. Shout out to Reinhardt targets, because that's an amazing target right there. Amazing. All right, now we're gonna go back to 20 yards and use a field point. Again, great shot and great target. All right, 20 yards, time is brought. Oh man, look at that. It's a nice shot right there. This right here is with the field point and this is where, you know, you can see it. Love this target. Side review for the target. I got that recently too for my broadhead so I could shoot at it because that's what it's made for. I have another target. I'll go ahead and show you guys. That, that one right there is my other target. And you know, the other target, it works for field points, but you can't really shoot broadheads at it because it would mess up the broadhead and the target a lot. So I got this one and it was pretty cheap too. So good job. We're gonna shoot another round at 20 yards. This is the field. Great shot again. I'm um, so far, every shot has been inside this big green circle. So there is one downside to this target and it's that technically you're supposed to pull the arrow out every time you shoot it. If you're at 50 yards and you want to lose some arrows, go for it. You know, I'm, I'm going to stick with one arrow at a time. Shooting them broadhead now. Man, this target is holding up well and these broadheads are shooting even better. Loving it, man. Dap me up. Yo. So guys, we got the big Bertha target out here too, just in case, you know, I don't wanna miss from 30 yards with this small target. So got this one in the back, safety first. So now we're gonna shoot at 30 yards, field point first, broadhead second. Let's go. I was drawn back on that sucker for a long time. I wanted to make sure I got a good shot in. Looks like I got a nice shot. Broadhead test from 30 yards. You good? Yeah, we got our first arrow outside the green box. Uh, circle, that's not a box, right? I think I passed geometry. Broadhead test number two from 30 yards. Good shot inside the green circle. So far, out to 30 yards, they're flying exactly the same as my field points. You know, that's that's always a good sign. All right, so we've shot all the way out to 30 yards with the new broadheads and they're flying really good. So I'm impressed with both the arrows, broadheads, and the target. So, uh, good job for those three things. Another thing I might do with this broadhead to practice with it is put a 100 grain insert on. Right now it's just the factory insert, which is about 11 grains, I think. But I have some 100 grain inserts and I might try that with this one just to see if it flies differently. If it doesn't, if it's flying really good, then I'll use it because that tends to maximize penetration when you have more weight at the front. All right guys, welcome to my office, also known as my desk. Uh, here we've got a 
kitchen scale, which is super sensitive. And yeah, we're just gonna be winding some broadheads. Here's the packaging for the broadheads, pretty basic, 100 grain. We're gonna see how accurate that is. This is my uh, real hunting broadheads, the ones that I haven't practiced with yet. All right, guys, here we go. Official testing of the weight of the broadhead. Looks like it's 100 grains. Thumbs up. All right, broadhead number two. Let's get the official weight. Looks like 100. Try it again, just to be safe. Ooh, 99. Off by a grain. But, you know, yeah, there you go. You got 100 grains. So within a grain or two, pretty good. Now that we've weighed the broadheads alone, we're gonna weigh just the whole arrow to get an overall grain weight. Looks like we're sitting at about 393, so almost a 400 grain arrow. Another good thing about these broadheads right here is they are right out of the box. I have not shot them or anything, and razor sharp. I mean, it even says it on the box, caution, razor sharp blades. So the Magnus Stinger, A+, plus. great broadhead. Love it, you should buy it. Works great with my setup. We've got a 340 spine, 28 inch arrow, 100 grain broadhead. Might do a 100 grain insert. We'll make a video on that if that happens. Another good thing about these broadheads is the lifetime guarantee. Always a good thing, so yeah. So guys, hope you enjoyed our little broadhead test today. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Share it with your friends. We'll see you guys next time.